Hey what's up guys, in this video we will be comparing the Samsung Galaxy A33, A23 and A13 which has been launched recently. So starting from the display of all the three devices, the Samsung Galaxy A33 will be coming with a 6.4 inch of Super AMOLED 90Hz U-shaped notch on the front display which is definitely going to be better from the other two because they are coming with a 6.5 inch of TFT display with 90Hz of refresh rate in the A23 whereas the A13 is coming with a 60Hz of refresh rate and both are coming with a V-shaped notch on the front. So definitely in terms of display the galaxy a33 is a winner here well moving forward all the three devices will be protected by gorilla glass 5 protection on the front so definitely here in the protection department all are same as far as the front camera is concerned the galaxy a33 will be coming with a 13 megapixel of a front selfie camera whereas the a23 and a13 are coming with an 8 megapixel selfie camera on the front the ip67 rating is for the a33 and the A23 and A13 are coming with no rating so definitely in terms of water resistance the A33 is clearly with it here also on the front we are going to see the in-display fingerprint scanner support for the A33 whereas the A23 and A13 are coming with a side mounted fingerprint scanner moving towards the back side the back is made up of plastic on all the three devices and all the three devices will be coming with a quad camera setup the Galaxy A33 will be coming with a 48 megapixel of a main sensor, 8 megapixel of ultra wide, 5 megapixel of a macro shooter, and a 2 megapixel of depth sensor. Whereas the A23 and the A13 are coming with 50 megapixel of a main sensor, and 5 megapixel of ultra wide, and 2 megapixel of macro, and 2 megapixel of depth sensor. So clearly, in terms of the main camera sensor, the Galaxy A23 and A13 are winner here. But overall, I think that the optimization for the A33 cameras will be better as compared to the 50 megapixel sensor coming in A23 and A13. And you know, internally, the Galaxy A33 will be coming with an Exynos 1280 processor, will definitely going to be faster as compared to Snapdragon 680 that is coming in Galaxy A23, whereas the A13 is coming with Exynos 850 processor. So definitely in performance department, the Exynos 1280 is better here. So uh, A33 is winner in terms of performance. And you know, as far as the RAM and storage is concerned, there are two variants, 6 and 8 gigabyte with 128 and 256 gigabyte storage option is available for A33. Whereas the Galaxy A23 is coming with 4, 6 and 8 gigabyte of RAM and 64, 128 gigabyte of internal storage. Whereas the A13 is coming with 3, 4 and 6 gigabyte of internal RAM option with 32, 64 and 128 gigabyte of internal storage. All the three models will be supported by SD card slot of up to 1 TB which is definitely going to be a better option at this time. All the three devices will be coming with a 5000 milliamp of a battery capacity with a 25 watt of a charging support for all the three devices which is definitely going to be a better option in all the devices. So guys overall based on spec sheet and performance it is obvious that the Galaxy A33 will be a clear winner here because it's coming with a better display, better cameras and even a better processor inside. And you guys, that is it in this particular video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Peace.